Do you find yourself aimlessly scrolling on Twitter, looking at random videos like these staring into the abyss? What's worse, you open the app to look at a specific topic, yet you lose track and now an hour has passed you by. If so, then you're not alone. These TikTok-like dopamine hits are a feature, not a bug. So let me show you how to use lists as a productivity hack to enhance your Twitter experience and stop your brain from being sucked into scroll mode. This is CryptoTube and welcome to the channel for this tutorial. So the idea behind this is to make the whole Twitter experience a lot more engaging, productive, and to stop you procrastinating too much. So this is an issue that everyone is plagued with in this day and age. Social media is simply set up to suck our attention away, but Twitter is a brilliant resource if used correctly. So on the left-hand side, you have lists. This is what you need to be using to really drill down into your subject area that you're concerned about. So of course, this is applicable to any subject, but we're going to go with crypto today as this is a crypto channel. So here we have our lists and at the top you have add a new list. So you simply want to click on that and then set a title for it. So what is the name of this list? So first and foremost, TA is one of the cornerstones of investing. So I've got a new technical analysis list I'm going to fill out here and the description TA experts. So this requires me to have some knowledge of the market and individuals who are actually follow worthy. Note there is also a button at the bottom to make the list private if you don't want anyone else to see it. Then we click next and this is where we need to add the individuals. First and foremost, one of the best traders out there, Mr. Pen Toshi. This guy mainly focuses on higher time frame charts. So very interesting to see where the motion of the ocean lies, if you will. Then Trader SC, I'm going to add him to the list as well. He covers a lot of lower time frame stuff. And then finally, Donald completing my trifecta here for technical analysis. So this list is now complete. And as you can see, I've got my own private feed of just these members that I've carefully curated. And now I have all of their information at the tip of my fingertips here. So jump back into lists here. So what I'm looking to do is cover a good few bases. TA, the next thing I want to ensure I'm up to date with is DeFi. So I'll create a brand new list here, call it DeFi. And I'm looking for individuals who provide analysis on new trends. And I'll create another list here. I find excellent insight from the following Ouroboros Capital, Captain Rational, aka Noah Sideman, and the guys over at Blockmates. So that is another list I'm just going to set up here. And this will now be the DeFi feed that I enter into. Maybe if I want to do some research on DeFi specific topics, or I want to make a video on DeFi for my channel, I can jump in here and see what the latest news is. You can really drill down on your niche and then select the individuals who provide value within that specific category. This can literally work for anything. Maybe there's a specific crypto that starts to go up. Well, if I've already curated a list of individuals who tweet about that or projects within that specific niche, this can get me a step ahead and give me a bit of an edge on the market. In this way, you're not doing your research from scratch and you've actually got a good basis that in all likelihood puts you ahead of the competition. So even doing something like this lets you benchmark yourself against others, people you respect in the industry and you want to maybe make content more alike in order to really level up your game. If you end up making a ton of lists, you can pin the most relevant to you, they then appear at the top here. So just easier to find straight off the bat. And then finally, if you want to delete a list, click on the list, go to edit, and then at the bottom, delete list. So for me, this is a more efficient way of utilizing the Twitter app. Rather than just scrolling through absolutely everything on the main page, I can dive into specific topics on each session and reduce the amount of aimless scrolling that I do. Let me know down below if you find this a helpful productivity hack and if you want to see more of these. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.